Today I'm going to be showing you how to make viral videos on the go using CapCut Editor and we're going to make a video similar to these ones I've posted across my social media platforms and received millions of views. Now CapCut Editor is available on Windows, it's available in a web browser and it's also available on Android and iOS but today we're going to be focusing on the Android version and I'm using the Magic VS with a bigger display just so that I can give you guys a better look at the application. Now full disclosure the video is sponsored by CapCut and they've asked me to showcase this application to you guys. So we're going to start off by opening the CapCut application and there's a few different things you can do here. There's some quick ways to make content and there's some longer ways with more customization. So what we're going to do is I'm going to quickly show you the quick ways that you can do it and then I'm going to show you how I do it when I'm editing on the go. So first of all, you go through here, you've got new projects, you can see my save projects. You can also record directly from the camera. And for those of you that have a script, you've also got a teleprompter option in here as well. So you can see you've got the teleprompter here and you can go through and because it's there, you can actually read it as you record and it looks like you're looking at the camera with the camera lens being so close but you can also drag and move this wherever you want it to be on the screen. So we're not using a teleprompter today, we're going to make it for my pre-recorded footage. So first of all we'll go in here and you can see we've got auto cut options. So if I press on auto cut I then need to choose the album. So I've actually got an album in here called iPhone and I've got some pre-recorded footage that we're going to use. So if I just pick a few of the options here got pre-recorded animations for my iPhone. If I then go next, you can see it generates an auto cut version. So this is gonna cut on the beat for you. If I just turn the volume up, and you can see it's made me a video straight away and you can choose from all of the different songs. But you can see using this technique, I can literally make a viral video in just seconds. But that's not what we're going to do today. And also, you'll notice it is in portrait because this is made for shorts and TikToks. But you can edit in landscape also. I've just chosen to use portrait videos for this videos. So we've also got AI images for those of you that want to play with images. And you can see here, you can choose the intensity. I'm going to press generate. We'll see what we get from a picture of my dog. And as you can see, very different there. So there's the auto stuff out the way, but today we're going to use this to edit a video and customize it exactly the way we want it. So if I go on new project, I've already got this open in my iPhone videos, so you can move stuff around when you're in the editing stage. But I personally try and think about it and get it right the first time. So I probably want to start with this shot, then have this shot, go to that shot. Then I sort of know the shots I'm looking for here. So if I just pick them out. I'm picking them in the order, but as I said, we can swap this later on. It's just easier if we get it right the first time. So I want to use those clips. They're all loaded and we can press add. Now it automatically builds the timeline for us. So you can see I can scrub through the timeline, shows me all my videos. I can add audio and there's lots of other things we can do here as well. So what I recommend doing first is I always start with the audio because you're going to want to edit the video to the beat. And luckily CapCut makes this incredibly easy. So if I just show you, if I go into sounds, I'm going to pick a sound. So I'm going to go with beats, probably going to be the best for this. Pick something random. That's a bit too short. Stop that. So you also need to keep in mind here, it tells you how long the audio is. So I'm going to go for about probably 50 seconds here. So I want something at least longer than 50 seconds. So Dizzy Ground. This is probably going to suit our video. So if I add that on, and you can see at the bottom here, it's added the Dizzy Ground audio to the timeline. And then the great thing about this is you see here, it says beats. We can go into that auto generate beats and then you've got beat one if I just play that so that's hitting the hi-hat that's probably not what I want on this video so if we go beat two we get the off beats as well so I want beats two now I've done that, you can see at the bottom of the timeline, there's actually these yellow dots. This makes it incredibly easy to edit to the music. So we're going to start off, the way I do it is just press play. Then I want it to change there and you can see, we zoom into the timeline. You can see I'm just past the dot. So what I'm going to do is go before. We can then drag this clip. If I zoom out a bit, so I wanted that dot. You can see we can just 
Oh, I missed it. Sorry, it's a bit awkward to do here because I've got the cameras in some very awkward positions. So it actually snaps to these beats, which is really useful. So especially when you're using a mobile phone and it's hard to get some precision, it snaps to these yellow dot beats. So we'll go across the next one. Then I want it there. So you can see the yellow beat there that I want. Again, minimize that to the beat. I'm going to go on that beat. So again, I probably have to zoom out a bit here. Move that over and you can see it snaps to every single yellow beat. So you can't go wrong with this. Want that one. So you get the gist of this bit. So I'm actually just going to fast forward to where I've matched everything to the beat that I wanted. So I'd go around there. So I'm just going to fast forward this bit. And then I've made it to the end. So you've got the cap cut ending there and you can also remove that if you want. So watermark there by default at the end of the video. If you want to keep it there, you can. If you don't, you can delete that out of your timeline. So now you can see I've got the video edited. It's all edited on the beat. So my cuts are on the beat. If I just play the first couple just to show you. Perfect cuts on the beat and it was so easy to do. It just makes life so much simpler. So once you've edited your footage, it's all in the timeline and it's cut to the right thing. There's a lot more you can do. You can add effects, captions. You can automatically generate captions for your video. So if you're speaking and you want it to come up with the captions, you can do that. You can also make adjustments. So if I have a look here, adjustments, lots of adjustments. I can change the brightness, contrast, go through color temperatures, graphs. So if I open up the graphs, Nice little RGB curve there. I could even make a nice little S curve. Just add that extra contrast to it. So I'm not going to do it in this case because I did it before I saved the footage there. But you could do that. So once that's all done, you might want to add some text onto the screen. So if I play it through. Probably about there, we'll go for some text. So add text and I'm going to put iPhone 15 Pro Max. Do it like that. You can see it on screen for me. And then we've also got text effects. So if I go on my text, save that, I want it to start. Oh, it is starting on the beat. That's exactly where I want it. And you'll see as standard, it just comes up, but we do have some effects. So if we go into text style, you've got styles, effects, animations. So I'll have a look through here. You can pick lots of different ones in here. Maybe a bit of a glow. But to be honest for this, actually I'll use that one with the glow. So text styles, we'll go in animation and we'll see what animations we've got. Pop up, so we'll try that one. You can see it now pops up makes it a bit more interesting. You can change the duration. So I don't want this text to go over a cut. So about there, and then we'll just see what that looks like. So that's the text and I could add lots of text in lots of different places and it's great. We've got all of that customization. So I back out of text. You've also got option to add stickers. So if you wanted emojis, any of these stickers, you can simply press them. They come up on screen, but of course I don't want that in this instance. And as I said, we do have auto caption. So if you're speaking and you want it to transcribe your video, you can just go ahead and do that there. So that's text covered. We've done the audio and the stickers. You've also got options for overlays. If you want to overlay something else on there, if we go into effects, we've got video effects. So having a look in here, there's just a huge library of effects you can choose from. So if we just try that one. Not suitable, but you can see it works well. Have a look if there is one. I generally don't like using effects with these videos, but we'll see. There is something opening and closing. So I would do an opener. I'm going to go with a vertical opener. Makes the start a bit more interesting. So that's that done there. And let's move the vertical opener to the very start. And then you can see. And if we just make that shorter, you can see we can control the speed. So I don't want it to be that slow. And you can see I've missed it there. So if I just drop it back, still missed it.
and that's that bit. So if we go back, you've also got body effects and photo effects. Of course, you can't use a photo effect on a video. You've got AI images. This is for the pro version only. We're not using the pro, we're using the free version here. And it's also only for photos, so you can't use it on a video. So filters, if you wanted some quick filters, have a look here. Lots of filters to choose from. And if I just show you what one of them looks like, you can see it just adjusts the colors slightly and changes that, but we don't want that on here. So we're just gonna tick. Also, when you're editing these, you can split, copy, move and delete stuff. So that's useful if we go back. Ratio, canvas and adjust, we've covered all that. So that's the video created here and you can see if we go through, all edited to the beat. What I probably will do actually is just add another text overlay here. Add text, iPhone 15 Pro Max. And tick. We'll just change that. I think we'll change the style here. So if we go into style, again, it's probably better if we use the same one we used on the first one. So I'm gonna use that one there. Animation, maybe we'll try a different animation this time. So, want something a bit more subtle. Ah, that one will do. Got some customization there, take that. And then we'll just check that ending. There we go, and you'll also notice it's got boxes around it, but of course on the final export, it's not gonna have that. So I'm trying to cover everything that you might wanna do. You can also do tracking on here. Obviously we, there's not much to track on these objects. But as far as it goes, I think that video is pretty much finished. And I can see my camera recording is actually on 15 minutes. I would have cut out some from the editing, but to make a video in 15 minutes cut to the beat on your phone is pretty easy and it's pretty impressive. So I'm just gonna export that and we can see exactly what it looks like. Right, so the video has now been exported. So you can share to Instagram, WhatsApp, Facebook, straight off of this so there's no messing about. And what I'm gonna do is press done. And that's that for that. So there are lots of other things you can do. In here we've got templates. So you can see you've got it organized for TikTok, for Reels. So say you wanted to make a Reel or a YouTube short or something and you've got some footage on your phone, whether it be photos or videos, there are plenty of options. So we're just gonna scroll through and see if I can find something else that's suitable for the phone. We're not travel one. So we'll use this template and see what we can get from our phone footage. So again, I don't really need to give much thought because the, the CapCut application is going to do all the work for me. So I'm just going to import my videos. Can import a few here. Now we'll press preview and we'll see what it comes out like. So as you saw, that was a bit fast paced. That one's probably gonna be a bit better with photos. We'll go through and see if there's a better one. So still not the best, but this one's gonna be much better to show you just three things, so. 
Again, quickly preview. But you can see, you can just make videos so quickly and easy. So if you're on the go and you've just taken some footage and you're not sure what to do with it, then the template place is a good place to start. There we go. So that's my overview of CapCut. As I said, if you're on a laptop or something, or maybe a work laptop where you can't install an application, you can do this in the web browser. You can also install the application to Windows. And of course, this is on Android and iOS. But when it comes to editing on the go, this is my favorite choice. And as I said, I've made these sort of videos and some have even got 4 million views on YouTube Shorts. And short videos do tend to be very popular at the moment, especially over on TikTok. But that's pretty much it for me today. So Cap cut I find is just easy and incredibly fast to use. You can make all the videos you want either automatically or go through, let it automatically find you the beats and then cut through them as you go. Now, of course, I'll place the links to the app down in the description below, but it's on the Play Store, it's on the iOS App Store, and you can get it from the CapCut website for Windows. Now, of course, if there's anything I've missed or you've got any questions at all, then just ask them in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, smash a thumbs up. If you didn't hit the thumbs down twice and I'll see you guys in the next one.